Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can a can can a can. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you see who we're going to be talking about tonight. And just to think, she had her daughter move out there with this man. And I hopefully, hopefully nothing went on. You know what I mean? I know y'all know what I mean. Hopefully nothing went on. Or we're going to have to send Leon over there. And he's going to have to do some correcting. All right? But guess what, y'all? And a lot of us had said it. And uh, and people were like, um, don't be talking bad about them. Don't be saying this. Don't be saying that. We all know from, y'all remember that picture when he had all them women over there calling them his friends. And Cynthia was looking at him. She was looking embarrassed and didn't know what to say. And she should have just walked the hell on out of there. That's what she should have did. But she was so crazy in love and wanting to be in love, wanting to be married. Now you don't got two failed marriages under your belt. Cynthia, let's, why don't you just go on into the sunset and just date? Okay, just date. Yes, and I disagree with that comment. Uh, cameras can't make something worse that's already there. It just manifests itself. And if you, both parties don't get a hold of it, yeah, you will find yourself in the divorce lane. But, I mean, even Kenya tried to tell Cynthia, let the man chase after you. Stop acting so thirsty. Y'all remember that? I forgot. It was that time, I think, when the uh, cookie lady... Uh, Kenya had dropped the cookie later on, um, what's her name, Tanya? I think it was Tanya. When Tanya was a friend of the show, I don't know who I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, she exposed the cookie lady to Tanya just to get back at her. You know, they was having some beef. Not really nor here or nor there right now. But, um, yeah, Cynthia was at the cookie lady shop and trying to tell Kenya just be happy for her and this, that, and that. And you know, hey, when well, you got a good friend... Or you got somebody just looking out for your well-being. And they tell you something. Listen to them. Get out of your feelings and all that kind of stuff. And just listen to what they're saying. See if the message is clear. And it has no animosity behind it. If the message is clear. And you can't find no fault in it. Take that damn advice. Will you? Take the advice. And Cynthia, your thing is you just you don't want to be alone. And I don't really think you have been alone. And I don't know if it's because the uh, show that you're on, or was on, I should say, that you're trying to get back on as a friend, which you should have just took the friendship contract at its best and, you know, stayed single and just date Mike Hill. Because I was trying to tell you over here on my platform, the man is an opportunist. Opportunist. And then maybe you're mad because he sneaks some money at your bank. Sort of like what Peter Thomas did. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> and I wish you could go with Leon. But Leon, in my estimation, guess he seemed a little fruity. And that's all I got to say about it. He may not be. He just might be overly compensating to understanding of females' ways of thinking and doing. Okay? But um, if that's where you go. You know, shame in this game. Be that way too, okay? But... That's the only reason why I'm thinking Cynthia and him did not mesh well together. That he might be allegedly a little fruity. And she's holding the secret if that's what it's uh, doing. Uh, her, meaning she don't want to put out Leon in that way. Uh, so, it just is what it is, okay? We ain't here to judge nobody in their sexuality. We just trying to keep the same tone, the same energy. That Cynthia did when she rushed into this marriage. And look who you took advice from. Steve Harvey. How many divorces he's been through? How many divorces, Cynthia? But, yeah, they got you together. But you showed down and stay together. Now, we're here. We're here to support you, girl. 
But we need to know what he did. Don't be lying to us if you want us to take up for you in public and in private. Don't be lying to us. Now, did he go and, and you caught him? Uh, it's a misunderstanding. So, you know, it was already some dirt on him when he was uh, flirting with somebody. When it was a year ago or something, somebody else came out and said that he was flirting with them on the phone and asking for pictures to be seen, naked pictures and stuff. Mm-hmm. All it was allegedly because nothing really came out of it. I don't know if, um, what's his name? Um, Mike had talked with the person or something. But, you know, he was saying it wasn't his account. Then it was his account. And, you know, the shit was just falling apart. And Cynthia still wouldn't abandon the train. She wanted to still go choo-choo, choo-choo, choo-choo with this man, all right? And I'm like, girl, if you want to get your ass and sit it down somewhere and, and think about your options. Because, you know, Portia want to be back on the show. She ain't. Nene want to be back on the show. She won't be. Who else we got that want to come back? No, I think they were talking about bringing Eva back. We don't want Eva. No, we don't. We don't want Eva. Mm -mm, that stay where she at. This nation and some movie she's doing a real good job in. Uh, some kind of like a crime lord, but it's the female version. Um, no, Cynthia, so you just you, you just keep going backwards. We want you to bow forward, and we really didn't want to see you back on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I was rooting for you, girl. I was rooting for you to take this acting job serious. Get a coach. Get into where the money is. And that's making movies. Okay? Directing movies. Ah, Cynthia, 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 Cynthia. But that's where it all started. In that kitchen with all them women saying they like Mike as a friend. No, no, no. Why don't he have any male friends? Okay? That's what I'm saying. Unless she's trying to hide something by hanging around all these females. You know, like I say, a little fruity tooty. But either way, it's a bad situation. You don't need to have no best girlfriends. And that's with an S. That's plural. And you met every last one of them. And I'm pretty sure he screwed every last one of them women that was in his kitchen. Trying to make sure all of them wanted to accept you. Because they know what they're going to continue to do. And if they need the dick. And when you go on out to Atlanta. Or you going to New York or whatever. They're going to get the dick. Okay. Because he's just that type of guy. From what I hear now. Just from what I hear. Allegedly. Because I ain't seen him. I don't hang around him. I don't even want to know the man. Okay. Because just some of the shit he said. Like he was telling you. When uh, he was watching the show, he said the only classic one there is you. So what was he saying about Candy? What was he saying about Kenya? What was he saying about the rest of the cast, girl? Because you sure wasn't the only classic one there. You know, we just saw you as a bump in a log. And you know how Kim Zozak said, um, just sit there and look pretty. Don't say nothing. You know, sometimes we had to put you out there like that. Because you, you just, you like Switzerland. You're neutral. You don't know how to be on one or the other side and stand firm in the shit. And you thought you want to come back. Oh, Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. I don't want you back, Cynthia. I ain't going to lie. I don't want to see you on Real Housewives of Atlanta because I really think you could do better. You were, what, 54, 55 years old? You need to be uh, slowing it down and thinking about retirement, okay? Because all these other ventures you got going on, you got the Baylor Agency. We don't know what's going on with that. You had the uh, eyewear uh sunglasses um venue you was tripping in don't know what happened to that you were doing some wine uh, you had a wine little shop or somewhere where you wanted mal to manage for you while you go doing everything that you think you were doing what happened to that then you came out with a nice um we well, had luggage too don't know what happened to that either then your last one, um, far as uh, being an entrepreneur you had made up these nice uh leather bags Kind of look like Tori. Uh, what's her name, Miss Tori? Damn, I can't think of her name. Turch? Is it Tori Turch? Something like that. They kind of looked like her handbags. And you were modeling, modeling them, and you looked wonderful doing it. And I, I was peeping the purse. But I don't know what happened. I ain't go try to check it out to see how much it was costing. But anyway, you had all those business adventures, and all of them are like at a standstill. Okay? You're being stagnant. Now you want to come back to old roots, old familiar roots. I'm like, girl, they, they, they demoted you down to a friend of the show. And you were riding hard for several seasons as a full-time peach holder. Don't you think that's a slap in the face, Cynthia? So they must be paying good for even the part-time help. Because <laughs> if, if Cynthia want to be a friend, 
I guess she feel like any income is, is worth it. Any income is worth it. But all income ain't going to say it's good for you now. How they say all money ain't good money? Same thing. To be on a show, one you don't held high for a very long time, and then they let you go at a drop of a hat, demote you to a friend. You want to come back, girl? Go on the green of pastures, honey, because they get sick of you. They're going to say, no, nah, we don't want you back for a while. We, we need a little break. We're trying to introduce more new fresh meat over here and you're still confused i mean you have a nice storyline uh you and mike divorcing and stuff which i hope you hopefully you had a prenup child because i heard mike show got canceled over there on fox soul uh-huh so well he just hanging out spending his savings money honey what is he doing girl what is he doing because i heard he ain't employed and that's a problem now, it says, or what the street is out there talking about, is that he's been un unemployed for a while. And y'all been having problems since 2021. Okay, this is 2022. Y'all just made it. Well, 10, 10, yeah, okay. Yeah, y'all just made it. This would be two years. But Mike was already saying back there when people were trying to put him together of, um, what do you call it, uh, cheating and stuff on the internet, on his phone, whatever. You you, you know, because they were trying to catch y'all asses in the airport, remember? Well, you might not remember, but I damn sure remember. I remember that clip. And he was going around saying this, that, and third. Talking about, he, you know, people will be sued. i like, Mike, if you don't sit your old ass down somewhere that can't seem to keep a wife. I mean, this is what? Your third wife, fourth wife with Cynthia? Just be an eligible bachelor and just tell whoever you're messing with or the women you got in mind to mess with that you cannot be uh, faithful. You cannot do that. If they want to still be in a relationship with you, at least you told them up front. But you don't need to be marrying nobody because you were already damaged goods to begin with. And why Cynthia didn't notice all these signs that I was trying to tell her and other bloggers were trying to tell her, hell, can you try to tell you? Let a man chase you. Don't chase the man. And then you said it and told Kenya, uh, Kenya, you thirsty. You wanted to chase him. You want that man. Well, why couldn't you keep the man, Cynthia? That's what I want to know. Because Peter said you were off in bed. You didn't know what the hell you were doing. I said, damn. Woohoo. But let's go into what the Jasmine brand brought out for us. It was an exclusive coming off of her platform. If you don't know who she is, just Google the Jasmine brand. And then you will hit that um, button to, you know, log into her um, app or whatnot. Well, it's not really an app. It's still on um, Google, though. You can Google the Jasmine brand and you bring it up and she'll have all her wonderful information out there of how you can partake her, of her videos and what she has exclusives to bring out. Mm-hmm. But she also, let's see, Kelly Williams here wrote this out. She said, uh, titling, titled, titling it exclusive. Cynthia Baylor and Mike Hill are separated and have filed for divorce, says the source. And I'm pretty sure Cynthia probably filed first. Trying to get it all to make it do what it do. And it didn't do nowhere. But you don't, Cynthia, don't blame yourself, baby. You just, I think you were in heat, personally. I think you were just lusting after this man. And then when the shit really hurt, hit the fan and you really found out how much he was really worth, I bet you started to rub your head and rub your face like, damn, that's a Peter, Peter Thomas situation all over again. Then the brother lost his job. I don't think it was no fault of his own. I think they were just downsizing or his particular uh, segment wasn't getting a lot of traction. I mean, it wasn't bringing the numbers in to support him having that entertainment show. I ain't gonna lie. He was bored in his head. I'm not gonna lie. He was bored. Then he was trying to act like, you know, he would make the um, interview a little bit more fascinated by using his body language and his hands. And, hell, he was finishing sentences for his guests that he did have. I'm like, how you gonna do that? You already listening to listening to them to respond you're not really listening to what they're saying but you know it is what it is i i don't think he should have left that sports career but maybe it was coming um uh, it was coming up to be an end for him as well because he had been doing it for so long i know how it is if you're not doing something that you really love then it does become uh, uh, uh like ankle weights on your feet weighing you down and you don't really want to do anything don't want to talk about it you know what i'm saying so maybe he was burnt out but you know to not be talking about sports but then you want to talk about entertainers but you don't want to break your business up in him see that's why i had to give props to wendy 
Wendy Williams, yes I did, cause she didn't care, she brought it, honey. And when her shit hit the fan hell, she brought that information to 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 the uh, forefront too to, for people to talk about. So I had to salute her about that. Stand your own shit, you know. Everybody shit ain't gonna be right and, and tight all the time. But if y'all are willing to be in it and work it to work it out together, then you can't stay alone. Cause marriage, you're gonna have ups and downs, ups and downs, and you probably have more downs than ups. But evidently, you saw some of that person that you said you wanted to cherish them through death to us part. Uh, the sickness and health, you know what I'm saying? That little phrase that you give when you're calling yourself marrying somebody else and y'all becoming one. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it says, um, the Jasmine Brand exclusively reports Cynthia Bailey and her husband, Mike Hill, have split, according to a source. Sources tell us that the Bravo reality star and sports anchor have been... Come on, phone. Don't do this to me right now. Uh, have been separated for a while now, and that everything between the pair is amicable. So good. I don't know if they had a prenup, but they should. They should have had one, and maybe they did one. That's why everything is amicable. Okay. We also told. We're also told that they have already filed for divorce. Okay, so that was a mutual situation. Okay. No mud slinging going on. Then they go on to say they really do love each other and it wasn't anything scandalous or anyone at fault. It just didn't work out. Okay. That seemed like a PR stunt. Shit hit the fan. We don't know what it was, but we wish you would please tell us. Okay. We, you know, we don't need to be up all in your business like that. We should just know this hell. I understand. I understand. But it's better you, you clock your own teeth than somebody else going and digging and digging and digging and throw it out there. Okay. So it's best you just go on and tell us what what's the four one one girl? Why didn't it work? And we don't throw out them. Is he gay? Mm. Did he cheat? Mm. How many times, girl? Did you catch him? <laughs> you know, them gonna be the question we be asking you at. But if you don't want to answer at this time, I understand. I understand. You're just licking your wounds right now. But you're gonna be all right, girl. You're gonna be all right. Okay. Going back to the article, it said the pair married in 2020 and have no children together. Neither have yet to comment publicly now of course we know something ain't gonna say shit anyway until uh maybe she get the green light to come back as a part-timer um uh, on the real housewives of atlanta i wish she wouldn't play that card i wish she would go on and bring her ass back to atlanta um uh, to the cake well, wedding in the cake where the hell she at let me see she don't know where cynthia at in, in, in georgia but she didn't bring herself on and i'm hope glad she didn't sell her home so she can leave all that shit up there or wherever she's at in California. Because somebody probably was sleeping on her shit when she wasn't there. So instead of her burning it, just let him keep it. You know, he likes to be in that atmosphere. If it was so-called in a cheating scandal going on, he can have the stuff. But uh, I hope, hopefully he didn't do anything uh, of a nature that it would prevent you from loving someone else again. I ain't telling you. No, no, no. Listen to me very carefully. I'm not telling you to go out there and get married. No, no. But to have a companion, to travel with, to be around, to make you feel like you're still a woman, you know, all those kind of things. Hell, take a, you know, it ain't my, this ain't my cup of tea because, you know, I think you should be married. But, hey, everybody can't be like me. A lot of people going to be like Oprah, you know. She didn't really want to marry Stepman after so many things. But I think she just didn't want Stepman to get a hold of that money, Okay. And that's cool. That's cool. She loved them in a way. They still together. I guess they like friends now because they probably don't do no sex. They just like, ah, oh, that's so trivial. Let's just, you know, mind fuck each other. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, but anyway, that's all I got, y'all. I ain't got no more because uh, you know I think all of us, or the majority of us, at least eighty four percent of us, was thinking that shit ain't gonna work. That's how you were acting in that kitchen with all them women. And sit there and check his ass and dismiss, dismiss all of those women from out there. Shy, please. And like I said, can you talk from the get-go? Don't chase no man, honey. You are the prize. You let him chase you. I love that girl. Okay, can you, girl? You taught her something, but it was a little bit too late. Uh-huh. And maybe they should have hired someone to take the marriage certificate where they couldn't, you know, sign on it after the marriage. <laughs> Woo! Okay, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
but it is what it is we don't went through it we don't told you what we felt about it me i family member now i want you to get down in those comments you all say what it is what it is y'all wait for me to come and get my speech i know y'all will and i ain't gonna i wasn't gonna let you down because i like no she didn't i still gotta get on that story with candy uh not liking carlos kane i still ain't got that together yet but i'm working on it i'm working on it it's a slow process okay ah uh, but yeah cynthia and mike are like no what that like i said oh that's a bad that was a bad couple to begin with it really was because i don't know why he wanted to marry her other than saying stardom you know for her to open up doors that he wasn't able to get through with her being an entertainer you know she would know a little bit more people and i guess the shit didn't work that way either okay but if steve harvey gonna say anybody up run run from him because he don't know what the hell he's doing and as you can see they only went two years barely made two up in this camp together and then they had to call it quits like y'all didn't even try to fight with nothing yep, what's going on you know but i know something ain't gonna tell us the truth till later on down the road when we ain't gonna give up we don't get you know what i'm saying we don't get two heels of shell beans whether you stayed with him or you didn't stay with him because when you didn't um quench our thirst with the news when it was happening we don't give a fuck we don't we really don't okay just go on live your life honey but just don't get married again uh-uh please don't get married again just sit there and be single and live your best life do like stella got a groove back but without that uh other part where they got together because did they marry that see they we didn't know if they married or they just lived together how they left it off uh but that's all i got i ain't got no more and i'll see y'all on the next video bye bye can and a wheel now we're off to